First of all, uh, uh, let me tell you this. Maybe this is a little uh, surprise for you and uh, for the uh, audience. Um, uh, the biggest terrorist in this world and uh, who exists uh, on the American soil, he's uh, everywhere. He's the God of Islam, the God of the Quran. Because with Are his you saying Muhammad? Muhammad? No, I am talking about the God of the Quran. Allah. Oh, Allah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Allah. Okay. Allah of the Quran, who has the authority over the Quran, and uh, uh, he is the biggest uh, terrorist. Muhammad himself is a terrorist. And uh, those uh, groups, they are not more than victims uh, following uh, his uh, uh, teachings and his orders. So are, so, you, are you saying that, the, that those who follow the Quran can't help but do what the terrorists do, that it calls for them to do that. It calls for all Muslims to do that if they're followers of the Quran. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. It's very clear in the Quran. You go to uh, Surah 9, which is uh, chapter 9, verse uh, 5 and verse 29, and you will find what the God of Islam asking his followers, everybody who believes in him, to kill Christians, Jews, infidels, if they don't accept Islam as the only uh, religion uh, for their lives. So when people say, and you know, George Bush has said it, and Barack Obama has said it, and I've said it, but when people say, and it's not, it's not all Muslims who are terrorists, that, I mean, because they're not, but, but, but we're missing something here. We're, we're helping their cause. We're making it easier for terrorists and, and, and the Islamic revolutionaries and the jihadists when we lull ourselves into believing that it's just a little, it's just a small little minority that believe that. Am I right? What, what percentage of you, Muslims do you believe? You're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. And uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, when Muslims, this is why I say, the majority of Muslims are not terrorists. And the majority of Muslims don't understand Islam. Once they understand Islam, they understand what the God of Islam wants from them, or they become terrorists. And now, when they uh, come and say that uh, Islam is a religion of peace, simply they are given a cover for a bunch of criminals, a bunch of terrorists, jihadists, and being partners with them, or pa partnering with them. So simply, before they say that Islam is the religion of peace, they need to study Islam and understand what Islam. About uh, presidents, yes, I hear the, their speeches, and I tell you there is lack of knowledge, and they need to educate themselves about what Islam and know the difference between Muslims and Islam. I understand that uh, the U.S. president, he's, uh, in his uh, position, is a huge responsibility, and he doesn't want to offend the quarter of population of Earth, by any uh, mean, but what I say that the uh, uh, the president need to know the difference between Islam and Muslims. Be honest about it. If he can't talk about it, he I rather that he uh, doesn't talk about it at all. We're talking to Mossab Hassan Youssef, whose father was a founding member of Hamas, and uh, and and Mossab was a turned informant uh, for the Israelis. He's now converted to Christianity. He's here in the United States. The book is Son of Hamas. Um, let, me, let me ask you uh, about, and I, and I know people are going to go buy the book because your, your story, is, I mean, it's an amazing story, but I, I'm more interested right now also in, 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 uh, in t letting the people hear the things you have to say. I think uh, they're listening uh, with their ears perked up. Uh, what do you think about, what, what, what's your opinion then of your father, for instance? I mean, uh, he was a founding member of Hamas. I mean, he, you, you, you portray him in the book as somebody who had who had problems, you know, who wasn't thrilled about what the, what the people he sent out to do were doing in killing civilians, women and children, but, but, but yet he, you know, he ordered them to do it. He, he ran an organization, a, a terrorist organization. Looking back now on your father, um, what do you think of him? Yes, you know, I, I love my father as a person, and I love uh, Muslims as human beings. They are human beings. They're just like us. They suffer of what we suffer, and in fact... They have been enslaved for the last 1,400 years under the rule of a God who doesn't have a minimum amount of morality. And uh, therefore, on a prophet who is uh, absolutely a criminal. So my father is a victim, like all other Muslims. I don't blame him. You know something? I am very surprised how Muslims...
keep a minimum of humanity after reading the Quran, after being in that society. If you were in that, in that society, probably you wouldn't be doing this show today. Maybe you would be uh, carrying a gun and uh, shooting with them. This is how they grow up. This is how they learn. Yes, today it's a different world, and uh, we need to educate them that it's their choice. And they, say, they can say no to their God and stop partnering with him. Muslim, our problem is not with Muslims. Our problem is not with a bunch of terrorists. Yes, they are a problem, and uh, if they are using the sword, by the sword uh, will be uh, uh, their judgment. But uh, what I say, that uh, our biggest problem, which is bigger than uh, Bin Laden, bigger than a bunch of terrorists in Af uh, Afghanistan mountains, is the God of Islam, who exists here in America, who exists in every library, mosque, Islamic institution, he's free to travel uh, all over the world and uh, have influence on people. Well, what do you mean? You mean, you, mean, you mean through the Quran? Through the Quran. All right, so what, sh what should happen? What, should, what would you do to stop it? Should the Quran be banned? Should it be burned? Exactly. What's, what? This is what I'm asking for today. And what? Tell, what? Me, tell me in your own words. Go ahead. I, am, I ask clearly that the Quran ha uh, must uh, be banned uh, from America, from the free world, uh, for the, its uh, contents that ask for killing uh, innocent people or people who disagree with the cause of Islam. I ask that this Quran uh, be banned and any Muslim activity, you know, if they want to also to be banned on the American uh, soil. And so if you, if you had a chance to speak to Barack Obama, that's what you would ask for? Yes, absolutely.